Guys, as I said in a previous video, maybe in the last video, that I plan on keeping this Q54 at least a little bit longer. Uh, but with that being said, I wanna do some experimenting this summer, uh, and I'm going to start by kind of giving this car a once over. I have some ideas, some projects that I'm uh, going to start working on today, just waiting for some pieces to come in. Uh, and then I'm going to just, like I said, give it a thorough rundown, see what we're working with, kind of examine the car. One area of focus in particular is going to be the engine bay. I'm not going to tell you right now this very second what's going to happen, but as soon as some of these pieces come in, I'll fill you in. So it'll definitely be in this video, uh, but don't skip forward. Don't skip forward. Just stick with me. We'll see. We'll see what happens when I'm going to start. I used to make a lot of my own kind of custom pieces, do different things, try different things out, and it's something I kind of want to get back into. I really haven't done a lot of that really for a long time, uh, either with motorcycles or cars. So sometimes I just like to open things up, take a look around, see what I could do to make something better or make something a little bit unique. And uh, that's kind of where my head's at lately. You know, I sort of run out of parts to buy or you find things that are available to buy that seem way too expensive or way too cheaply made or take a gander, look around a little bit, see what I maybe could improve upon. One thing in particular I do want to think about is cleaning my AFE dry filters. Um, I haven't had these out for a long time, maybe 10,000 miles or so. And they're time, it's time for them to be cleaned. So while I'm in here, I'm going to take these air boxes up, clean those filters up. You know, they look a little dirty. They're not, they don't look super terrible until you look at the backside. Yeah, super dirty. It's time for these to be cleaned. My zero to 60 times my throttle response was lacking or feeling a little sluggish for any reason. This, this could be a major cause. So while we wait for that stuff to be delivered, still not here, I'm gonna clean these filters, like I said, using a little bit of spray nine. This stuff is incredible, it's my wife's favorite. Uh, good for getting stains out of clothes, good for cleaning the bathroom, you know, shower and whatnot. It's a good degreaser, uh, good for cleaning the fabrics and stuff. It gets blood out of carpet and whatever. <laughs> Kills herpes, H1N1, influenza. Uh, this stuff is, this stuff's no joke. I'm just gonna try to knock some of the all crap out of them. Look at all that. Oh, well, they're definitely filtering the dust and dirt. I think I got most of the big stuff out. wild again if you guys don't know these are the afe dry filters recommend the dry filters over the can and oiled i there's been a few people that have had trouble with the oiled filters with the oil getting up and messing up the the math sensors so i just prefer dry if you can find dry um you know it's probably pretty rare that people have issues with the knn but if you have an option to avoid it i would and as you can see uh these are filtering pretty darn good so I'm just gonna use a spray nine uh, coat them a little bit with the spray nine not go too crazy I'm only gonna do the front side the dirty side and then we'll hose them off and you hose them from back to front so spray on the back side you don't want to spray this side so we'll spray the back and go you know spray it toward the front and that way you're pushing all the gunk out and not pushing it down into the rest of the, the clean filter this stuff works pretty good pretty fast so just gonna let it sit for a couple seconds and then we'll go over and spray them off so we're just gonna use a garden hose no real serious pressure just a little bit of pressure again from the back side spraying the back side so it pushes all this stuff out uh, yeah, the water is nasty, you can tell. Second round, you can see the water is much more clear, so I think we got her pretty cleaned out. You don't want to use crazy pressure, because as you get the, the material a little damp and wet, it starts to get a little bit soft, right? So if you're using really hard uh, water pressure, you might pop holes in it, so try to avoid that. All right, they're both cleaned up. Fabric, you know, it's damp, of course, and it might be discolored because it was dirty. Uh, but it's clean, the water was flowing freely through it, and the water was clear. So now you just have to let them dry very, very thoroughly. 
obviously if you plan on doing any driving during the day um, don't clean your filters don't clean your filters because they need to be perfectly dry before you uh, install them back in the car and, and drive so uh, we're gonna let them sit out here for a couple of hours still daylight got a nice little breeze they should dry relatively quickly up off the ground on this little grate uh, but we don't have to go anywhere until tomorrow not with the queue anyway so we'll let these dry out uh, for a couple hours here outside pull them back in and let them dry overnight and we won't have any problems putting them back in tomorrow yes sir all right here we are yes sir filters drying should be good by the morning no big deal i went ahead and cleaned these up as well cow it's time to see what we got going on here with these packages gotta sharpen these knives silk shine from chemical guys some buttons this might be familiar I'll put a link in this in, to, in the description below because this is my favorite addition to the car this is the organizational tray now this is one little project that i'm going to be working on as one of those custom pieces that i mentioned i'll show you this i'll show you i'm going to work on this tonight and i'll show you it probably in the next video but these are dope you guys need to get one if you don't have one perfect way to organize your center console love this tray all right next one hmm does this one throw you off at all it's carbon fiber vinyl so all this stuff will start coming together and make sense over the next few videos AEM dry filters hmm scratching your heads yet even sure what's in these boxes. Oh, I forgot. Of course, duh. This is what I'm going to be working on tonight. So you don't have to wait too long to find out what all this is about. Mass airflow adapters. Three inch. I told you guys that I was going to be doing some experimenting going forward since we're holding on to this Q50. It opens the door up to trying some new things with the car. Uh, and one of uh, a major topic that I've talked about over the last couple of years is cold air intakes or changing the factory intake setup on this car and how the Q50 doesn't really respond to cold air intakes, which is true. But I've get, I get so much pushback. Um, so I thought, you know what, let's just do it. Let's figure out a way to do it inexpensively in a way that we can test it out and either prove a point or be proven wrong. So what are we gonna do? We are going to create our own three inch cold air, or cooler air intakes for the Q50. I've got a couple other components to use to, to uh, make this work out how I envision it a couple of 45 degree uh, silicone bends, a three inch and some three inch tube. Uh, we may just need little slivers of this to get the filters to end up where we want them. Uh, but I think uh, with this and a couple of clamps, we're gonna be able to make this work. Uh, going the custom route is something I've always liked to do, but big shout out to Fox Craze. If you guys haven't seen Fox Craze's videos, I'll put a link in the description below. Uh, he recently, created his own uh, cold air intakes, like the full length cold air intakes to get those filters up behind or up in front of the radiator behind the front grill of the Q50. Uh, we see these available for the G37, uh, but there really isn't a way or there aren't any available for the Q50. However, he's made his own little custom setup and he made it work, which is really, really cool. If you wanna go that route, uh, check out his videos and see how he did it uh, and did it relatively inexpensively as well, uh, which is cool. His are only two and a half inch, and that allows the car to run perfectly fine uh, with the factory tune. Uh, but we're trying to make an upgrade to the intake system uh, where it brings in more air. So the main component there are these MAF adapters, these mass airflow sensor adapters. These are three inch. And this is really 
uh, if there is a bottleneck at all with the factory intake system, it is where the mass sensor is located. Uh, so I'll show you that in just a second, but this is our goal um, with this. I, I'm not, honestly not expecting major gains. Uh, we've seen some videos testing out the admin uh, three inch colder intakes on a G37 uh, over like the Takeda intakes and there's only like a three horsepower gain, three or four. Uh, I'll put a link in the description uh, to that test video as well uh, if I can remember. Um, but you know what we've seen is that uh, the older Z's and the G37's they respond a little bit better to cold air intakes where the Q50's are pretty dialed from the factory. Uh, but you know this this can be done relatively inexpensively you know doing this little custom setup and we're just going to test it out and see what we can see what we can get out of it so like i mentioned the where the the MAF sensor is located now this is the current bottleneck this is very small what is this like two and a half uh, inches in diameter again this car performs really well i mean even doing aftermarket um, intake systems they just they, the car just won't make that much more power with them uh, but if you notice even on the Takeda intakes the neck where uh, the MAF sensor is located on those it shrinks down so uh, you know we're trying out the three incher and we're gonna see how much of a difference it makes if any so you can fit this one inside <laughs> I'm not gonna be able to drive the car obviously with this thing uh, with the setup installed um, because it needs to be retuned with three inch intakes uh, but I want to get it sort of mocked up and figured out and then eventually what we'll do is drive the car with the factory setup up to Charlotte to Soho uh, we'll slip these on uh, in the parking lot and have them retuned for three inch uh, intakes and who knows by that point in time maybe we will have uh, installed some additional parts as well to make this thing a little bit faster if that's at all possible. So in my opinion, the key feature of the factory intake setup is this cowl right here. This this is one of the most important components of the factory setup and it's one that we want to try to preserve. Even the Takeda intakes uh, utilize the factory air box because it brings air in right here directly from the outside. It goes into the grill into the ports here through this whole section of this cowl and then it's redirected on each side into these openings here and it brings air right into the factory air box right in this this location so making these custom intakes I want to I'm not going to be able to retain the factory air boxes however I can try to position the filter directly in this opening um, so it will be a little bit exposed to the engine air but at least the air being forced in from the front of the car will hit a large surface area of our, our filter I'm even considering getting um, rather than these AEM filters which is this style um, getting sort of the tapered cone style with the opening in the front um, and just point it directly into this opening uh, so that air comes right into the front of the filter um, that will allow it to get cool air from the front uh, it won't be as I don't think effective in keeping the temperatures down as the factory setup just because it's not encapsulated in anything uh, but it will again be getting that cool air directly from the front of the car um, and you know air is moving this way so hopefully it keeps the engine bay air uh, or you know reduces the amount of en hot engine bay air that's making it into the filter and just takes that cool air from the front of the car so keeping this cowl uh, you know we see the short ram intakes with the filter being right here in this location but this cowl has been removed so it's only sucking warm air from that engine bay but utilizing this to keep that narrow stream of air you know that high velocity cool air from the front of the car coming right into the filter I think that's going to help us out for tuning purposes for testing uh, like this setup is is going to be for you know it's not even a guarantee that I'll run this continuously uh, depending on what kind of numbers it makes but you know just for tuning purposes when the hood is open and there's a big fan blowing on the front of the car you know it's not gonna it's not gonna hurt at all having uh, the filters 
uh, you know, exposed to engine bay air uh, right here. It'll still be getting that cool air. Again, the hood's going to be open for tuning. So we'll see what it can produce, you know, at its maximum level. And then we'll figure out something for preventing additional heat. But that's my goal right now after rambling for three minutes. I think retaining this cowl is is the uh, important key component. I'm gonna work on this uh, intake setup, guys. It's probably going to be uh, its own separate video. I kinda wanted to show you how to clean these AFE dry filters, but I'm also working on something else. I showed you that tray, uh, the organization tray. Uh, well, I'm working on something a little bit unique that I wanna show you here. So check this out. I'm pretty proud of it. It's pretty sick. Oh, snap, look at that. This is an accessory switch panel, and it's built into the organizational tray for the Infinity Q50. A number of uses that you could get out of them. Uh, it's sort of customizable. This one has five buttons, which I think is the maximum we could probably fit in here. I mean, you could technically get six. Uh, it works perfectly. There's a lot of space underneath the tray um, remaining for storage, but it allows for your wires to be run. This one isn't connected uh, at all, but you have... Uh, some power available in there because you have the little 12 volt ports uh, so you can open this up and really um, you know you can run wires through your center console or from behind uh, and get them up in in here through those 12 volt ports or however you want to be creative if you want to drill holes or whatever um, but it could really be used for anything like I said I could, I could make these for you I threw it up on Instagram uh, you get an organizational tray which is cool uh, but then you get a real discreet location for uh, your accessories buttons. Uh, this has a few toggles. Uh, these will light up blue, you know, when they're when they're uh, used and activated. Here's a, a momentary button. Uh, you can imagine what that could be used for. Uh, and this is another toggle with like a an open and a close. So it toggles both directions. And these are just on-off switches. So uh, again, you could use this for really for anything, interior lighting, um, if you have uh, air ride suspension, this could be a cool place for a couple of buttons, or maybe nitrous. So it's sort of customizable, you know, we could uh, determine how many switches you actually need or uh, what kind of switches. Um, there's a couple of options available. I bought some sort of in bulk so I could make a few of these. But I think it's turned out pretty sick and I can't wait to uh, use it for what I plan to use it for. So stick around for that. You can see guys, I got some stuff going on now that we decided to keep the Q54 a little bit longer. Uh, I have some plans. So we're going to be doing some testing with some intakes. Uh, we're going to be working on switch panels and figuring out what exactly we want to use that for so stick around big stuff coming for the channel uh, the next video might might not do a step-by-step -step, uh, installation of this intake setup but i'll show you kind of maybe some of the key uh, points or some of the key decisions that i made and, and why and we'll show you sort of the final product of this uh, as it's mocked up and um, we'll go from there hopefully we can get it tested out here rather, sooner than rather than later but i appreciate you guys watching i appreciate the continued support Thank you so much. Onward and upward for us, for you. Thanks for watching. See you next time.